talk about some more glistening stats for Nestor Cortez. And putting yourself in really good company. Most consecutive starts with three runs or fewer for the Yankees all time. He's too shy of their franchise record. Russ Ford in 1910 with 20 such starts. And he's best of the likes of Severino, Guidry, and Shockey. And in his last start, Jack, horror of horrors, he gave up three runs. And we're like, oh, what's wrong with Nestor? Because he's been that good. Jokingly, I say that. But he bounced back. And after that start, he said early on, the slider wasn't there. He was getting pitches that were too up in the zone, not attractive. He just got it all back together again tonight. He tidied everything up tonight. And every time he pitches, Bob, I feel as if we have to re-emphasize this. Yes, he doesn't throw hard. But what happens with his fastball is a lot of people talk about fastballs rising. They don't rise but some don't drop as much as others so batters are looking for his fastball on a particular plane and his is not dropping as much as somebody who throws at the velocity that he throws should well then you factor in the cutter which is also a smidge slower velocity wise and has that cutting movement so when he has those two pitches working plus the slider that you referenced that's why you see so many feeble swings against him and so much soft contact Bob I was on the Nestor Cortez Cortez <laughs> all-star train about five yeah. starts ago and just said hey if he was ever able to keep this going now it's it's more than just an idle thought right. the way that he is pitching it's one of the best pitchers in the American League right now and one of the things he has going for him outside of all the stuff we can see is what you mentioned while his team is trying to get point or runs on the board he's just throwing up zeros